Hello everyone, this is Sava. Welcome to my channel Future on Cloud. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can create your virtual machine using Ansible. This is really helpful if, if you are in a position like you have to create tens and hundreds of virtual machines. So this is the way which you can <coughs> configure your virtual machine in a one go. You don't need to sit around the system and do click 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 with the different VMs name just prepare one template and execute it so this is my environment uh, this is my physical host and uh, this is my vCenter server my vCenter server IP is 100.6 and physical server IP is 100.61 I have create one folder called prod VM so what I'm going to do is when I configure my virtual machines all VM will will be part of this or will be created under this folder the template which I am going to use is this one Windows Server 2012 a template which I have created earlier so I'm going to use this template to create virtual machines in order to do the bulk deployment, I have configured my Ubuntu server. And this server, I am using this YAML file. What this YAML file is going to do, the name of the task is create a VM from a template. Host name is the local host, the host name hostname of your physical server connection local I am not going to gather any facts so keep it no these are the tasks so indentation is very important here you need to be very careful about it the first VM create VM for SAP the host name is hostname or IP whatever is available with you so I am going to I prefer to go with the IP now if DNS is not working that is create problem so better to go with the IP address so this is my vCenter server IP these are the credential although this is not my correct credential I will change it later on before executing the script so you can use your password whatever you have configured so I didn't configure the certificate valid certificate for ESXi and vCenter that's why I'm not, I'm not going to check it so I'll keep it as a false the VM name which I'm going to configure is test VM SAP and the template is Windows Server 2012 let me reshape it and I'll show you how you can access it okay so this is my windows server template name and this is the main srv2012 you have to be very careful about the characters it's it is case sensitive so data center name is data center in my case this is the data center if you have any data center like my I normally use to configure FOC data center, future on cloud data center, but this is our production environment. So I am not going to change anything here. And the data store SSD. Uh, I have multiple SSDs here. So I am going to install two VMs. One is in this VM and another one in this data store. <coughs> so the VM SAP will be installed in SSD, SSD cursor, and the folder name is prod VM. Again, it is case sensitive. This is the prod VM folder which I have created for this one. Once the VM is created, powered on this virtual machine, and don't wait for the IP address. If you are not, if you didn't configure the DHCP on your network, then keep it as a no and this is for the second virtual machine second VM I'm going to create for our IT in your case you can change the name or this is just a name you can you can name it like 
feature on cloud or you can name your own name it doesn't matter but the naming convention or or the text should be a meaningful again you have to specify the vcenter host name vcenter username vcenter password and the template data center storage type here i'm using i'm using different storage the folder will remain same and that's it so let me change the password here Once you change the password, just save it. And after that, I have saved this file and the desktop. This is my folder ESXi, and this is the file. Just open terminal and execute it. And let me zoom in okay let me type the password first now ansible playlist our file name create vm.yaml I'm calling the same file name, this one which I have created. And let's play with it. So, as you can see, the first VM test VM is start deploying. Once the first VM completed the set, it will go for the next VM which is for IT. So it will give you a big relaxation if you have to deploy hundreds of virtual machines. So I don't want to prolong it. I am going to pause this video. Once it is done, I'll resume it back. As you can see, first VM has been deployed and now it is heading towards the second VM. So let me show you the first VM, as you can see, it's deployed and let me log in. And the second VM is also in progress. So regarding the data set, data storage uh, it is part of ssd qatar as i have showed you in in the playbook and second one the itvm should be part of it should be part of let it complete then i'll show you <coughs> so the deployment is in process all right welcome back the second vm has been deployed as well so as you can see play recap local host ok2 and change2 it mean two changes are happened the first one the sap vm second one it virtual machine so let's look at the second vm as well it is also deployed using the same template and both are in a operational state so if you talk about the storage as we have specified it should be part of yes ssd part and the other one is part of ssd
so this is how you can automate your processes and speed up your work this is it for now stay tuned thanks for watching